Yeah, yeah, that's life. So, um, out of both the places, um, who out of that Houston and Dallas, because you've been to both quite a few times, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. Um, who showed you more love? Um, of course I gotta get it, give it to my Houston, my Houstonians. You know, of course they show love. You know, I, I mean the love out here in Houston is it's just like it's it's real genuine. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. like I want that love everywhere. You know what I mean? But you got to start from home. Yeah, you know, yeah. you never. You, you, it's always going back home for me to get that 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 love and attention that I need. You know, and I appreciate it. And shout out to Houston. I really, really love that y'all fucking with me. Like I really, I really appreciate that. Y'all streaming my music, and I love it. And I see it. I see the receipts. Hell <laughs> yeah, that's life. That's fucking life. So, um, growing up, well, you know, you told us that you said that you. You know, you you did this as a little girl in the church and whatnot. Mm -hmm. What was your inspiration? Did you like? Did your mom used to sing? Uh, your grandma? Very much so. Mm -hmm. My mother is basically what motivated me. Like I used to hear my mother in the kitchen singing "Juicy," that juicy fruit. <laughs> right. You know, she used to have a band back in the day, and my mom was really talented. Like that was her. Like, that was her dream to you know. Be a pop star, be whatever she, you know, whatever she wanted to be in the music industry. You know, she didn't really get that chance. Of course, she, you know, just raising me and my brothers, um, being a loyal wife. You know what I mean? So it's just like now I feel that, you know, I guess what you say, reap what you sow. Is that what they tell yeah, us? Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm li li literally living in my mother's footsteps. You know what I'm saying? And we shit, we look identical as well. You know, to where like I really want to be able to get to that point in life to where or for my mother to see herself in me. You know what I'm saying? If she wasn't able to see that by her her doings, Hell you know. Yeah. But I get it from look, I get it from my mama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah, that's fire. That's so fire. So, um, how's it like being a mom? Because I see, you know, when I walked in here, you know, I seen you had three little girls. How's that like? baby baby little girls um it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing to be a mom right um and how old were you when you had your first my first was now we trying to tell government ages and shit now <laughs> <laughs> i've been 28 for like the last <laughs> five years um i was what i believe 18. oh you were 18. yeah 18 if i don't mistake me but yeah, but at the end of the day, I never thought, well, little story about me. I was in a car wreck, partially paralyzed for two and a half years. Um, they wanted to amputate my leg. They told me, hey, you would never be anything, basically. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. they basically told me I could never have kids, right? You know, so when I had my first, which is Cherish, you know, I named her Cherish Scott. I named her after me uh, because, shit, I wanted to cherish the fact that I was able to actually have kids after they told me that I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So being a mother is everything to me. So I'm not just doing this music or trying to just be on top of the world, just this super bougie ass rapper. I'm not trying to be that way. I love music. It, it makes me... Um, you know, it gets what I have inside, you know, out. I'm able to pour the things that I have inside out. Because I can't really talk to everybody. So, shit, why not put it into my into my music? You know, what I'm thinking, what I'm going through. You get what I'm saying? But being a mother right now, this in industry means so much more so much more to me than just that. It's more so setting, setting this foundation without no cracks. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Setting a foundation to where my kids, whenever I'm gone, they'll have have a legacy to hold on to. You get what I'm saying? They'll have, have a home to come back to. And they didn't have to sacrifice like I had to sacrifice to get here. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't want my, my babies to see the gruesome, the gruesome aspects of life. I don't want them to have to see the dirt. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I yeah. want them to see glitter and gold. And, of course, have survival tactics. You know what I'm saying? Have motor skills, but I want them to be able to see to to, to live life and live it live it great. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So shit, that's why I'm really doing this. This is why I do music. This is why I push. I struggle sleepless nights, countless hours in the studio, hair and makeup. Shit, if they would leave it up to me, should I probably be bushy hair and <laughs> uh, <laughs> somebody moo moo? You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm doing it for them. So being a mom actually is pushing me to do this a hundred a hundred times more than just the fame if that makes sense <laughs> yeah no it makes it makes a lot of sense actually that's good though that's really good so um 
So you said you were 18 when you had your first? Mm-hmm. Okay, and you, was that around the time that you said you were stripping? Mm-hmm. Yeah? And you know what? I owe everything to my firstborn. And I do, I owe everything to my, my other kids too, but baby Cherish, she had to see it all. Yeah. When I tell you all, all of it, from me coming into the house, drunken nights, man, Oh, and you about to make me tear up, you asshole. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. This nasty ass drink I made. <laughs> but I'm like, sorry. To, you know what I mean? Like countless, countless nights, and my daughter had to see me just super fucked up. Four or five in the morning, walking through the door, trails of money, hundred dollar bills, just falling asleep on the couch, sloppy ass nights. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like at the end of the day, like my baby had to see that shit. She had to see me fighting with my spouses at the time or whatever the fuck you know what i'm saying she, and low-key she didn't have a mother she really didn't like she dead ass didn't have a mom like i wasn't there for her like i should have been you know what i'm saying yeah, so that's yeah. why i go hard right now like i'm going so hard to where she does not have to see none of that shit or go through that or experience it i'll be damned if she does yeah, yeah. i felt as a, as a mother now if i let her go through that shit yeah, and yeah. i won't so my music, me pushing whatever I gotta do right now, I'm like I said, I'm doing it for them. I love them so much. Yeah, yeah. That's the you, only reason why I'm standing. Shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As you should, you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, and and then they're your biggest fans too. I'm pretty Man, sure. Man, these babies can recite every freaking song and like the the curse words they be bleeping out. Yeah. <laughs> They don't want. They don't want to get in trouble. Right. Like, they yeah, be bleeping yeah. out. They be like, everybody want to judge it. Look, middle up. Look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how it go. That's sweet. And, but they love. They love it. You know what I'm saying? Even whenever I have like, sometimes I get writer's block. You know what I mean? And even like the my um, oldest and the middle child, they'll come and they'll write, get a pen and paper and they'll start writing shit. Oh, so they 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 want to oh, do it too. Oh, they some bosses. Mama That's ain't raising no weak a week in the family they yeah, some straight yeah. bosses and then even cherish she's like she's on this little i got a little pad to where she can make her own beats okay like to her when i get older that baby girl will be my own my engineer hell yeah I'm, there you I'm, go i'm trying to get a hold my whole team they yeah. say you have to have a team to do this shit right yeah, so why yeah. not have to use my kids yeah and they yeah. all girls let me let, let's go yeah <laughs> yeah you gotta be running this shit that's sweet that's Back. so sweet hell yeah well Thank you, Cherish. Thank you so much for allowing me to come sit down and have an interview with you. This has of been this has been one. You want to give a shout out to anybody? Yes, I do. I want to give a shout out to, like I said, all my Houston fans, Puerto Rico, Mexico. It was love, Miami. Y'all know I'm in this motherfucker. At the end of the day, Sky Production. Anybody that's dealing with Cherish Sky Productions, I love you guys, me and my assistants. I love y'all, my Sky babies. I love y'all, Mr. Jones. Love you. My mother, I love you, and Tiffy, baby, of course, I love you too, y'all. Thank you. And Milo, come on, bro. You, Milo, look, Milo Films, one, two, three. Y'all better tap the fuck in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, appreciate that. Let's go. I appreciate that. <laughs>